I lack information. Pertinent to this task. Consider hiring a pawn better apprised of such matters. Interested in my wares? I'm just grateful to still be in business. Many thanks. There's a tavern that stocks new... Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. These really are hidden in the most unlikely places, aren't they? A splendid discovery. Ha! Huh. I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. We pawns are mere travellers from beyond the rift. What cause of the Batali to regard us with such hostility? Take heart. For we are fulfilling our duty at the Arisen side. We have naught to be ashamed of. So you're the one Benjamin sent to get the whelp to talk, eh? Well, go on then. Don't dawdle. And I'll thank you not to distract the jailers from their charge. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Aye, what can I do for you? Oh, you want the bandit well released, do you? I suppose I could consider it. Aye, being head jailer has its privileges. I could accommodate such a request if I were so inclined. Of course, you'd need to prove your integrity first. I can't go around. Aye, you've made your case well, but you might have to be patient. Are we leaving already? Oh, bother. I was just getting warmed up. Or I can do for you. Apologies, Master, but you will. No, there's no need to fret. These things take time. I've lost the thread of my thoughts. What business have you here? Here I 
might reflect upon my effort. My sword arm could use some work. <sighs> Is quiet about. Look at a single shadow slipping by. Would that all my days were so tranquil. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Plenty, oh. as you can see. I ought to check my stock. See what's running low. Be gone with you. What business have you here? I must ask you not to. Not sure what to make of this. Good day to you. Go on, have a look. Hoy, looking to change your vocation, perchance? No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. You've naught to lose, and you might even make a new discovery. Pleasure doing business with you. Interested in my wares? Beautiful places such as this are real treasures. Dead on my feet. Very few of you are aware. Great, be at ease, sir. This is a tavern. So life in this country can be hard to bear, but I won't let anyone rob us of our simple pleasures. Isn't that something? <laughs> well met, sir. How might I be of service? The coin's no good if you work yourself to death. And if you look at my word. Well met, son. How might I be of service? What a... Racket! And if you look at my word. Oh, my. 
Well met. What do you think you're doing here? My head hurts just thinking about it. Look around if you have us. But be I've just had a thought. Me? I said. Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you. Always a pleasure. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. This is my Good day to you. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Let us endeavour to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. I believe this is intended as a means of transport. It would be interesting to see where it might take us. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different horns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Fascinating. more of these to hand ought to serve us well in battle. What say we pelt one at the next foe we encounter? Worth the effort of breaking it. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Differing vocations, aren't we? Our respective abilities are unique as well. Oh, 
We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Well met. Does that make you the arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Gar. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. Shall we make for the tavern? Come, let me buy you a drink. This might contain useful information. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. Say, have you heard? They finally caught the fiend behind those ox cart raids. Aye, they caught someone. But word is he's just an underling. Seems the true ringleader gave him the slip. Captain Benjamin's all bent up over it. Tell is, he's still interrogating the lad, trying to get all he can out of him about the Coral Snake's operations. Wants to make a clean job of it, like. Well, here's hoping it puts those snakes to rout for the welfare of this city and our stomachs. This tavern is open to- Aye, even pawns. So long as they've coined for their- Always a pleasure. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. Tis a bargain more than fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in Bakbatal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this, simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. How might I be of service? Not a foe in sight. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. All knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here. In Batal. However, you would do well to first travel to the altar Batal coast and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. Be 
done. What do you want? Quit acting so chummy. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. Can't set off till I've had my due. Blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? I've got to focus. Shift only just Have you brought me a quince? Many thanks, sir. At last, I may continue reading that grimoire. This could be the turning point in my family's fortune. We ought to follow close behind, lest we get separated. Are you satisfied with your current appearance? You wish to shine like a jewel among your peers, is that not so? Well, lucky you. I am here to see your wish granted. If your work needs doing, I am your woman. Townsfolk have full of pockets. A shop.
We must rest. The now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. Shall we get underway? But be sure to buy aught. Some of us get changed. All my troubles are clean away from this place. Well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Which brings me to a curious point. There's a favor I'd ask of you. Hmm? What happened to my eye? Oh, uh, uh never mind the bandage. Tis nothing serious. Now, as I was saying, I'd like for you to find the grimoire's second volume for me. Twould seem tis part of a set, and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. The copy I possess is but the first, one half of a whole. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. Alas, passing through the border checkpoint is no simple matter for a humble merchant like myself. But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal. Then you ought have no trouble passing through the checkpoint. I implore you. Find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent life. The life they deserve. This is my chance to provide for them as I ne'er have. A strange little shop in Ver- Look as long as you please. Do come again. Mother, quick! Over here! Beg pardon, sir, but I must ask you to stop aiding my husband. He lost his eye while reading that grimoire. His eye! I can't bear to see him involved with that fell thing anymore. But he refuses to listen to me. He's been saying not to worry, that he'll make us more money soon. Tis as if he's lost his mind how much he repeats it. <sighs> Tis all my fault, Mother. He's only been like this since I said I wished we had an easier life. No, it isn't, dear, and don't you fret. Your father, he'll be back to his old self before you know it. Pray, sir, seek out that grimoire if you must, but do not give it to my husband. I beg of you. Ought we to give Sir Isaac the grimoire as he requested? Tis a quandary indeed. All we know for sure is that we know nothing at all. That's something, eh? What's your business with me? This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint. Can't set off till I've had my due. As if I don't have enough days, to do. I'll buy myself a manor. It is just another day, same as the one before it. Yeah, I skip a lot. Everyone out of the car. Freshly rested as we are. This battle is good to be Try not to get hit, lest all that boom goes to waste.
moment of a decision we split up. Looking for a bite, but I can take you. Someone's begging for a baby. Got to keep my wits about me. You're really pushing luck your luck. Out. Traveling beyond the rift, I came upon a cave whose secrets you have yet to discover. It is nearby. compares to the thrill of victory, one cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. <coughs> no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm.
able to do the trick. so long as I'm around. All paths fork in the end. Please dispense no with the formalities they... This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Here, if you please. It isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. two places of interest nearby. I could tell you more about them if you like, Master. Look out! Knackers! You need not shrink from danger. We've the strength to prevail over anything. designed to carry us somewhere. It could prove useful. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? It is a chest. I shall take a look inside. Uh. 
My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession to craft things for you in my spare time. Told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. Are you fit to travel? Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. One we surpassed with skill. Fortune favors us, it would seem. During my travels beyond the rift, I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore. Shall I take us there?
Enemy luck. That's what you get. A weapon. Tremendous work. Our combined might is beyond any foe. I will protect you. You've pushed your I luck too far. Concern it. Feast your eyes on this. This ox cart's bound. You've got to pay before we depart. I'll gather this. It might be of use. I've naught to say to the likes of you. that ox carts were a bit safer and a bit swifter too we seem to have a ride without issue but are we safe here Traveling the roads. <laughs> Honestly, I follow every regulation to the letter and only travel during the day. Why can't I just do the same?
Follow me then, unless you don't. Not to my sense of direction. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Well, could you come over here? Not more can be done. is just what I know. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten rift stone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? I shall lead us to our destination, so do try not to rush ahead. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Well met. Looking to make a purchase? Much obliged, sir. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. 
The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. Master! Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. To break the law is to be thrown in jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of... Is there no getting through this door? Good day to you. Pleasure doing business with you. 
Come to think of it. Was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Or so I've learned. Might as well take a look while you're here. Here, eh? Stop by again soon. You need anything? We're going this way now, I suppose. By your will. Tis not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. I'm nodding off where I stand. Ah, my knees have been acting up of late. Let's take it easy today. I don't head to market, methinks. But the rules at your best must be air Have you business with the guild, sir? I should. Be glad to assist you. The state of things makes my lot rather dip. Always a pleasure. I've heard there's a means to see. There's an oracle up in the palace, whose powers allow her to divine whether the arisen yet is. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. I'm glad of any business in the... How might I be of service? What should I get up to? Tis good to be busy. An ox cart. Fancy a look at my wares? Always a pleasure. This sounds good medicine. In the meantime. Tidy storefront. Can't Auto work as late as I used to anymore. Is there naught being done? Can't say I have any tidings to share. 
I'm a tad busy at the moment. Hmm. How to spend the day? Do take care on the road, sir. These are dangerous times. We live in. Shall we get some rest then? Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Follow me then, unless you doubt my sense of direction. Welcome to the Star Drop It. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour? Always a pleasure. I shall return. thought to share myself. Is there any need to travel with so many sorcerers? We shall assail our foes with a plethora of magics. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I shall lead us to our destination, so do try not to rush ahead. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way.
I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart travelling a night is suspicious enough in its own right. If to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. Pray let me go. Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. I was approached by a Batali merchant I met at the border checkpoint. He offered me a coin in exchange for rounding up pawns. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. It is a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, will you let me go? I swear, I'll ne'er do all like this again. Oh, I suppose it was too much to hope for. It is all over for me now. Many thanks. We'll take it from here, sir. Worry not. He'll receive his due soon enough. Till then, he'll be made comfortable in the dungeons. Who goes? Like this don't know pummel from point. I must ask you to leave this place at once.
have aught you wish to show me? If he bears more responsibility for your mission than I, I would defer to his judgment regarding how best to proceed. You are not permitted to be here. Move along. Such quiet is a blessing. Quiet at last. Is this where you've been all this time? is rather far from where we agreed to meet up. Do take care not to stray so far next time. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. Welcome. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty. So you've encountered the Phantom Oxcart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the Lord does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise, tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawns' destination? Perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid Your Majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion. This isn't much to go Talents, talent, whatever it may be. One arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot.
your pack grows over full, simply ask me to sell off your surplus item. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something and see the truth for yourself. On the transference of souls, eh? It is not like to do much harm on its own, but when combined with its twin, the first volume, tis potent indeed. Take care how you use it, sir. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very Be well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Hope to see you again. We have acquired the grimoire entitled On the Transference of Souls, just as Sir Isaac requested. Will we be delivering it to him? Need anything? Many thanks. One can never be too careful. Go on, watch it. I'm come off to the tab. Not I ought to earn Reckon your trade towns can make you right sick of crowds. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. Reckon your road's been a long one. Trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here. At least. You'll find a bit of peace and quiet. Pleasure doing business with you. Interested in my wares? Any loose coin about it enough to make you rich? These old bones grow weary. Welcome, if you think me a liar. Then buy something and see the truth for you. The creation of a masterpiece takes time, sir. Hope to see you again. Well, wait, sir. How might I be of service? I'm sure I can handle this. I Reckon your road trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but we must rest. The Interested in my wares? Right, <sighs> Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something. The item you requested is complete. Here you ask many thanks to you. My own master oft crafts such forgeries. Now that is a surprise. Anyone 
This ox cart, I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. You're going to regret that. You! While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I can show you the way. You have my protection. If we have a destination in mind, an ox gudge would get us there with little effort. Drivers can be a decent source of gossip. This ox cart's bound for you. This ox cart's bound for Mayhap this time you use your lantern, Master. This boulder looks mighty heavy, but we might just be able to move it if we combine our efforts. Shall we set it rolling? Good luck, 
It is an honor to see you again, Arisen. I have a pressing duty to which I must attend. Who are you? Come no closer! What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. Buy more drink. Could do with a proper meal. What was that? Thank you. 
Wanted. What's the hold up? Get it. How fair are my fine passengers this evening? Don't know why I'm asking. I suppose you'll just have to listen then. You pawns are cruel, They say you'll do whatever the arisen says. You offer no complaint or quarrel, and you're undying to boot. You're well suited as slaves, if you ask me. Truth be told, I've lost count of how many of you I've transported these past few days. Still not the faintest idea of what they do, or where they take you after I drop you off. I've ne'er seen one of you return, though. That says a lot. As some would tell it, you're serving as targets for new recruits undergoing spear training. Others say your lifeblood is squeezed out like juice from a grape to be offered to the Empress of Batal. <laughs> Did that scare you, baby? Never mind. It was all in jest. It's not like I know the truth of it, anyhow. Not like I care, either. As long as I get my coin, I'm a happy man. I'm not fussed what I was doing. so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. It is not our place. Bolt, we're inspecting your cargo. Open up. I hear they follow whatever command they're given. Aye, and they'll take any beating without a word of complaint. Let's see for ourselves. A ladder, is it? How convenient. We ought to put it to good use. Are you going to fight back? They may be undying, but they do seem ah, no, They're just hey. taking it. Where was I bound again? Bound to spend a bomb. Just like hitting a tree stump. Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with! Worth more than your wages combined! Have you prepared the cargo we're to carry alongside them? No? Well, get a move on! We're off! On your knees, worthless vessels! Do we have a look around? Wait! You're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst! To arms!
This strikes me as a place of import. We shall have occasion to return here. If there's nothing more we can do, ought we not to quit this place for now? Remain by your side. Wearing armor all day feels like a punishment. If he asks me again, I'll, I'll pour out the eyes. So long, I almost forgot why I came. Are you interested in my wares? Tis so dull that I'm not Shall we get some rest then? Should we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come, we've much to be getting on with. Ready to forge on? Well met. I thank you for your patronage. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. For all in particular. Interested in my wares? Oh, the the I Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness to this momentous occasion. It would behoove us not to fall too far behind our guide. Let's take it easy today. I are acting up.
This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! Did I? Did I do it? All appears unchanged. A failure then. Ah well. I suppose our fortunes were ne'er likely to turn so easy. I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. My dears, can you forgive me for my foolishness? Oh, Isaac. You two had the right of it all along. I ne'er should have chased after a silly dream like this. Father, I, I shouldn't have complained. I know you do your best for us. You always have. Enough of that now. You've naught to apologize for. It is a father's duty to provide for his children. I only wish I could give you more. You have my gratitude, Sir Arisen. Though I failed in my quest, I've learnt much. And from this moment forth, I'll be focusing my energies on naught but my trade. I hope I can count on your continued patronage, sir. A forgery, of course. Had my master and I only known. Are you quite certain of that? Greetings, Sir Arisen. I have a message for you. Sir Manella would speak with you in the palace. Pray seek her out at your earliest convenience. Pray follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. Take the night watch over death's work, eh? Bring life to my old bones. Mr. Shouldn't have mixed those colors. Follow me, if you would. Following along, I trust. Take care not to lose sight of me. No fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Greetings, sir. You're here about the whelp, I presume. But I'm afraid things aren't going as smoothly as I'd hoped. It's my superiors, you see. They understand that there are some extenuating circumstances, but the lad's still a thief. Normally, I'd let the matter lie. But methinks I could find the courage to try again with only a little motivation. What say you, sir? Have you... Aye, that's just what I needed to hear. You really must care for the whelp to go so far for him. Let's hope he's worth it, eh? We'll see if you can escape me a second time. Who are you supposed to be then, eh? Quit staring. Wait, you're one of the ones that's came crawling into our hideout. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Ain't funny, really. But seeing you is reminding me of that bleeding runt's face. <laughs> I'm talking about Hugo, of course. Ha! <laughs> Didn't you hear him sobbing as we left? Lanzo, why? Boo hoo! <laughs> Bet he's still crying over it, eh? Like a babe without its mum. 
course, Lanzo's already forgotten about the poor sod. Was right glad to be rid of him, truth be told. That blackguard. Oh, it tells me there's more to his tale. I'm not sure I can stomach it, mind. Hugo's been following Lanzo around ever since he was a kid. Wouldn't quit it, neither. Even when it got him a beating. Still, there's a use for whelps like him. Guards aren't like to throw a brat in jail for pocketing a few trinkets, eh? They can earn their own living that way. When one shop starts getting suspicious, they just move on to another. Easy pickings for a kid, and having a few whelps along makes setting up in a new town a trice. The guards don't suspect a thing, but Hugo had gotten too big for that, see? We'd run out of uses for him. Well, save throwing him to the dogs, so as we could make our escape. <laughs> Hard to believe the lad never figured out we was using him. Real loggerhead, that one. Did he ever tell you his story? About how his parents were killed by brigands or some such? Couldn't be more obvious who that was, eh? Ah, his mum was a comely lass. Don't remember a thing about his da. We roughed them up, had a bit of fun. Emptied their purses and the like. Lanzo slit their throats himself. It was hard not to laugh, watching daft little Hugo grow up, hanging off Lanzo's bootstraps and never questioning a damn thing. <laughs> We've a new hideout now. Over on the ancient battleground. Aye, I ain't afraid to tell you that. I might owe Lanzo a favour or two, but not enough to rot in here for him. In fact, why don't you go pay him a visit, eh? Ain't right that I'm the only one in this hole. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. What do you want now? Oi. Listen, do you think someone like me could live an honest life? After all that's happened? Come off it. You don't mean that. Huh. You're serious. I've always wanted to try, earning an honest living, I mean, but what could I do? Not sure as I've many skills, save picking pockets. <sighs> Suppose that dream was a crock of shite from the start. I ain't leaving this cell, let alone finding decent work. I've no relations, no coin for a decent bribe. I'll probably rot in here till I breathe my wretched last. I've... Always but what could I do? <sighs> Suppose that dream was of no relations, no coin for a dick. Hoy, I've glad tidings for you today, sir. Twas no mean feat, but my superiors have finally agreed to the whelp's release. He'll be out of his cell before you know it. How's that, eh? Worthy of a little gratitude, I should think. Aye, tis only proper we thank those who do us a service. And gratitude comes in all forms, as they say. Aye, that will do nicely. I feel well appreciated. Now the lad will be released, and all of us the happier for it. You for his freedom, me for a job well done. You're free to go, lad. What? Aren't you glad for your freedom? You're lucky to be out of this, you know? Aye. But what am I supposed to do now? Just live an honest life. No more stealing. I think you have it in you. Fancy words. Do you shine your shoes with him? Off with ya. And don't you come back now. Aye. You can count on that. Was it you who got me released? Suppose I should be grateful. But what am I to do now? Easy for him to talk of an honest life. But I've nowhere to turn. No one's gonna want me working for him. You know of a place I could work? What? What? Are you toy?
This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. We've arrived well enough. Where to next? Do take care on the road, sir. These are dangerous. There's times we live in. You know where to find me. This inspires naught but misgivings. There's no time left more than a saucy room. Try all of my There's a lot. To here. Ah, oh, excellent find. Welcome. You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now, you have divined the Oxcart's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The stuff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal, yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous tasks, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The lake of lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own, or could this simply be a means of testing? the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns, I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. She would doubtless lose their confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. Tis most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought be used. At last! The score is settled! In the world... You have my fullest confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Tis most valuable. So pray, is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? The way to Batal should be open to... When you arrive, is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to serve the Welcome to the We serve all manner of fine ales here. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews in all of them. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. We shall have to decide which is the most pressing. We cannot do everything at once.
We have what we need to deliver, do we not? Let us find the intended recipient. We ought to make the delivery now. Lest it should end up lost or misplaced. It is no great shock to me. Oh, someone do all about this. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important person. We shall await you here, Master. You seem to be rather friendly with Captain Brown. It is lamentable that the captain of the late Consul's Guard... All this patrolling does a number on my shoulders. What must... You are not permitted to be here. Move along. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? Twould seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign, pretender though he may be, to say naught of you. Does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Tis a frightful thought. Yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my gratitude for this. I now know what tis I must do. I know not what to make of this. Pray, take care if you travel to Batal.
hin. I must ask you to leave this place at once. so that I might adopt the most Welcome, sir, as... In case you haven't noticed, shops are closed on certain days. Welcome, sir. No need to be shy. All tastes are welcome. Just be sure you mind your manners. All you need? After a companion, are we? What sort? It is all a matter of who strikes your fancy, sir. This is too much for me. I f no, that's not happening. I cannot deny that your gaze holds a certain allure. Thank you. Whatever hardships we face. Delightful. Whatever hardships we face. I'm afraid I'm not here to listen. Astounding. I cannot deny that your gaze holds a certain allure. time I left this city behind. Welcome. Whatever hardships we... I cannot deny that your gaze holds a... Oh, how lovely. Perhaps it is time I left this city behind.
No doubt you're dazzled by my charms. They all are. Go whisper a warm word to whomever catches your eye. ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right. Right on the roads, despite the hour, you know where to find. Fancy a look at my wares? Might as well take a look while you're here. by again soon. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. So what'll it be? Not to twist your arm, but this is a rare opportunity. Well, you needn't decide this fact. I'm 
open door. It's not enough for a moment there. It's quiet now. No fear, master. I'll fare all right with Welcome, sir. going on. Perhaps it is time I left this... Oh, how lovely. Perhaps it is time I... Delightful. Whatever hardships we face... Sensational. Perhaps it is time I let Wonderful. Whatever hardships we f Astounding. I cannot deny that your gaze holds My thanks. Perhaps it is time I left this city behind My thanks. I cannot deny that your are My thanks. Whatever hardships we... Astounding. I cannot deny that your... Wonderful. Whatever hardships we... Wonderful. I cannot deny that your gaze... Perhaps it is time I left this city behind. Churns my stomach, this does. Not sure what to do about that. Always the same. They are today. Just how I like it. Welcome, sir. Am I giving you shivers? Likewise, sweetheart. Sweet. I'd be glad to have you. No need to be shy. All tastes are welcome. Quite the quandary. Uh, could have sworn. 
home. I don't want to attend to it. The sky always puts me in a contemplative mood. I cannot deny that your gaze holds a certain allure. Over here, if you please. Well, hello. Oh, there's always demand for weapons. But I dream of owning a larger store, I do. Always a pleasure. Tell is, pawns travel to other worlds using those rift stones. I'm not. Need anything? Times change, but there's always coin to be made. Stop by again soon. Have we any gold left after that extravagance? No sense ruining the cost. Such purchases are a given on an adventure as important as ours. Oh! What does this say? Shall we take a closer look? Master, if ever your pack grows cumbersome, know that I would be glad to purchase. Is this place bereft of beasts and brigands both? A brief respite has naught to decry. Nothing left to fight here. You not I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can just defend ourselves. You have my support. <laughs> We have found the material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time.
Council avoided is a battle won, I suppose. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. I suppose it is so. The Arisen has chosen to fill our ranks with women. Look there! I espy another statue. Follow me. Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! One can see far to the distance from here. I'm afraid I don't have any knowledge about that quest as yet. If you require guidance, you must hire a pawn who does. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. Venom harpies! Avoid their venom at all costs! Poison is a nasty affliction. I shall return.
fancy a look at my wares? Well met, sir. How might... I'd be of service. Always a pleasure. Our packs are heavier. And our purse is far lighter. We've a journey to prepare for after all. We can't afford to cut corners. So close a call offers no solace in victory. We were overconfident in our abilities. It is a painful reminder that fortune will not always favor us. That blackguard. It seems they bear us ill will. That blackguard runs here somewhere. Bugger off if you want to see the morrow.
Excellent find. Pray, allow me to open yon chest. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? We must rest. I return safe and sound. 